Paul Feinbaum, I, 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 I'm not even sure I understood what Coach Kelly was talking about there. No one thought he went to LSU to learn lessons. What's your number one takeaway <laughs> from last night? LSU paid $10 million for that, Greeny. That, that's, that's what, that was my takeaway uh, at midnight last night because it makes perfect sense to go for two. He just went 99 yards. It was a perfect executed drive. And Florida State's defense is forget on its heels. I mean, they're on their back. Uh, and do you want to keep playing uh, when you've played that poorly? No. You, and you don't want to put it in the hands of the special teams because you've already had two uh, muff punts. You've had uh, a blocked field goal. Of course you go for two. I, I think it's the simplest call in the world, but Brian Kelly, being somewhat conservative, he immediately put up the one. Brian, you're not in the NFL. This is college football. Put the dagger in. What did you think of it, Heather? Going for the two there, I have to admit I agree with Paul. The way Sometimes you have to judge these things based on the way the game is going, and he has all the momentum in the world moving right down the field. What did you think of the decision? Well, I think whether you go for it or not, the bottom line is nobody at LSU should be surprised by this greenie because anyone who paid attention to Brian Kelly last year, this was deja vu. When he was head coach at Notre Dame, he struggled against Florida State in the season opener the exact same way. Notre Dame was lucky to beat Florida State in an overtime last year. Hmm. And guess what? In similar fashion, he blamed his players at halftime. So can they learn from those mistakes? We'll find out. Yeah, it, it did not seem to have been his fault. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.